On Sunday, the Nicaraguan people will elect their president, vice president, and legislators from a slate of five parties. All the polls show the current president, Daniel Ortega of the Sandinista Party, with nearly twice as many votes as his nearest challenger. But his candidacy is not without controversy. Nan McCurdy has more. In office since January 2007, the Sandinista Party owes their popularity to poverty reduction and improvements in health, education, housing, and Zero Hunger, a production program for poor women and small farmers. The Economic Commission for Latin America notes that Nicaragua is second in reduction of wealth inequality in Latin America. Carlos Pacheco is an expert in international relations and an independent analyst. I think that the candidate of the Sandinista from Daniel Ortega will win the election because the Sandinista government is implementing a really good social policy in the last five years, social policy that are impacting positively in the life of uh, poor people in rural area and, and also in, in urban areas, such as zero hunger and roof social programs and many others is contributing to that support of the people right now. The Sandinistas have also won popularity among the business class, bringing investment in tourism, agriculture, and green energy. In 2010, Nicaragua had the highest growth in GDP and the lowest crime rate in Central America. In 2011, the World Bank ranked it the best in Central America in investor protection. Nicaragua's economic management has passed seven IMF reviews in the last four years. Nicaraguan's economy is doing well in the last three years. For example, in the last years, Nicaraguan economy grows 4%. The people have more hope now than five years ago. Among those hopeful voters is Arbelia Conde, an agronomist with Women and Community, a women's association in the countryside. She describes why she will vote for the Sandinistas. One reason is because I come from a very, very poor family. It's always been clear to me that if in Nicaragua there hadn't been revolution, perhaps I wouldn't be the professional I am, nor my siblings either. Currently, you can't deny that in the midst of everything, the governing party is implementing good programs for the poor, like education, health, and attention to production. Despite widespread support, Ortega did draw controversy after he and over 100 mayors asked the Supreme Court to lift a constitutional ban on term limits. The day of the vote approving the petition, all members and substitutes present were pro-Sandinista. Opponents also criticized the social investment aid that comes from the sale of Venezuelan oil. Others think the legal ban on any kind of abortion passed just before Ortega's election should have been reversed by now. Four other candidates are challenging Ortega. Second place in the polling is 79-year-old Fabio Gadea, a right-wing radio owner and broadcaster. He's running under an alliance between the Independent Liberal Party, or PLE, and the MRS, or Sandinista Renovation Movement, a small party that split off from the Sandinista Front in 1995. Their vice presidential candidate, Edmundo Jarquin, is the son-in-law of Violeta Barrios de Chamorro, president from 1990 to 96. Vida Luz Meneses is a well-known poet and Central American Parliament candidate for her party. I am going to vote for the Plea Alliance, for Fabio Gadea and Edmundo Harquin, because it is a democratic option for Nicaragua. The Plea Alliance is pluralist and represents Nicaragua's diversity. We will continue with the social programs begun by the current government, and will do them better. Third place in the polls is former President Arnaldo Aleman of the PLC, or Liberal Constitutionalist Party, who governed from 1997 to 2002. Aleman was released in 2009 after serving seven years of a 20-year sentence for money laundering and embezzlement. Transparency International ranks him the ninth most corrupt leader in the world, estimating he stole $100 million from the state. Despite this history, Aleman has supporters, including lawyer Alina Torres, who works for a Nicaraguan mining company. I'm going to vote for Aleman because he's a candidate that has had experience in, the, in this position before, and Nicaragua saw big changes in its economy, and also because 
He is a candidate that I believe will bring a lot of change to the country. Plea candidate Fabio Gadea asked Aleman to pull out of the running to unite the anti-Sandinista vote. If that happens before Sunday, the Sandinistas are still likely to win, but it could keep them from a supermajority in the legislature. Nan McCurdy, Free Speech Radio News.